This demo will showcase our SAP to Salesforce material migration template. The migration pattern is the act of moving a large set of data from one system to the other at a point in time. Migrations are critical in any organization that has data operations and most commonly occur during mergers and acquisitions, implementation of new software, migration to a cloud-based environment, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that needs to migrate materials from SAP to a Salesforce instance. Right now, let's go ahead and see how it works inside of two different systems. Here, inside of our SAP instance, we will see a list of materials that we want to migrate over to our Salesforce instance. Let's start the migration process and see how everything works. This template is triggered via an API call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All we have to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint, and you can see how quickly we will receive a message that the batch process has been initiated. This template is configured, so when the migration process is complete, you will receive an email. As you can see, we already received a message report that the migration process has been completed. Then, when we go back to our Salesforce instance and refresh the page, we will see that the materials from SAP successfully migrated over to our Salesforce instance as products. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template has already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see that this integration is triggered via an API call. And here, we will find an SAP connector that retrieves records from our SAP instance, and data mapper that transforms SAP materials into Salesforce products. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Then, we use a Salesforce connector to pull the data out of our Salesforce instance and check whether the record from SAP exists there. Then, we upsert the information into our Salesforce instance, which means that we either insert new records or update the existing ones. The last step that we do, we log a message report and send an email to the address we listed in the configuration file. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, Everything we have to do to make it work is to list our SAP and Salesforce credentials in the Properties file and run the application. Today we've shown you our SAP to Salesforce material migration template and migrated materials from one system to another. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.